Hey, good evening. How is everyone? Fine, thanks, teacher. Hi. Teacher. Hey. You sound a little tired. What happened? <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> I yeah, Friday is just full of madness. <laughs> I understand. Friday is more difficult the the day. Uh -huh. Okay. Great. Do you have any plans for this weekend? Are you going to do anything Saturday or Sunday? Maybe I will visit my my family and have a dinner with with my uncle. Okay, and your family, are they from San Salvador? Yes, they are, they are from San Salvador. I am from Santana. Ah, okay. And Arturo, in this moment, do you live in Santa Ana? I live in Santa Ana. Wow, so you have to go to, you, you are going to come to San Salvador? Yes, maybe I will tomorrow. Okay, okay, no problem. And only for one day or for two days? Maybe for two days. Um, I get back. I will. Be, I will back to Santana on Sunday. Okay. I'm going to go to Santana on Sunday. Oh, that that's that's really great. Yes, I'm going but to I, visit. I, <laughs> I, I really I really like this city because it's so. And so quietly, and it, there is not traffic. That's that's really only for that. Only for that is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> no, no traffic. Okay. Okay. I see we have a small group today. Only Eugenia and Bessie, and you. It's very small. Maybe, <laughs> maybe because it's Friday. Maybe because it's Friday. Mm -hmm. Bessie, how are you? What are you going to do this weekend? Hello, teacher Arturo and Eugenia. Well, I have Hi. a lot of, of things to do. I work um, Saturday in the morning, and then in the afternoon, I have to go to the doctor with my little, um, my little, how I say? Oh, yeah, I forgot the. Uh, Aijada? Ah, daughter in my, daughter. Well, my granddaughter. not daughter in law, but uh, I'm sorry, Arturo? My granddaughter. No, no, no. Aijada is god, goddaughter. God, goddaughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Mm -hmm. I have to go with her to the doctor, and then we're going to maybe have a coffee <laughs> with my sister and my. And my cousins tomorrow. Okay. And then on Sunday, I will I will be here at home. And you are going to have a coffee in a restaurant or at someone's house? No, maybe in the restaurant. We need to, to, <laughs> <laughs> to get out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Good. It's good. I think everybody is tired of having to stay home and oh, having yes. to, you know, be in quarantined. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's very, very busy to be at home working and doing a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true. We need uh, vacations. <laughs> yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, almost like that. <laughs> well, I'm glad everybody's, I know it's difficult on Friday and it's, you feel tired, especially at this time of night, but thank you, thank you very much for participating and coming to the class. Um, very proud of you, I know it's a big effort. Um, I just want us to start by reviewing a little bit yesterday's topic. Do you remember yesterday we were looking at the present continuous? Do you remember we mentioned that a little bit about the idea, the difference between the present simple and the present continuous? Everybody's yes. quiet. <laughs> yes, I, huh? everybody's quiet. Yeah, like, past I, continue, I, 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 I
Correct. All right. Thank you. We have, sorry, the past continuous. You're right. The past continuous and the simple past is similar to present continuous. But thank you for mentioning specifically that. So is the idea that Patricia mentioned is the same for all continuous. In the moment you hear continuous is the verb to be and ing. This is all continuous. The only difference is what form. The past continuous, ah, okay. The verb to be in the past and ing. The present continuous, okay. The verb to be in the present, okay, and ing. The future continuous, ah, the verb to be in the future is going to, okay, or is, is are the same as in the present plus the verb in ing. So this, when you hear the concepts of continuous, many times we get confused and we say, I know, I don't remember the past continuous, the present continuous, the future continuous, the perfect continuous. It's so many difficult. No, 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 no. It's only the difference is the auxiliary in which form. But the ing always is the same. On the verb to be is always a verb to be. Only the difference is in which form is the verb to be. Now, what is the main idea for the past continuous? Usually the past continuous is used with a specific time, okay? As an example, Arturo, at seven o'clock this morning, what were you doing at seven o'clock this morning? I was waking up. Exactly. <laughs> okay, exactly. This yeah. is this is for exact moments. I was taking a shower. I was waking up. I was having breakfast. Whatever you want, but is with a past continuous. Okay. Now, when we use simple past, is normally for an event. The time is finished. As an example, Omi, what did you do yesterday? Omi, you are on mute. I think you have to take off the mute. Hello, teachers. Um, excuse me. Uh, yesterday, I I work all day. Perfect, and that's correct. It's not I was working. Is I worked because it's complete. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's different if our. If Omi says, I was working when Arturo called me. Ah, it's different because this is always, always the ING that with, and the other action that interrupt is the simple past. So oh, I was watching yeah. TV when someone knocked on the door. Okay. I was cooking. Okay. I was cooking when my mother came into the house. Always, always in the second action, simple past. The first action, the past continuous, if you have it, the two in one sentence. But if you have two sentences, the past continuous is for specific times or for a space and the, sorry, that's the past continuous and the simple past is for the time finished. Last year, uh, last week, yesterday, this is the simple past, okay? Today, we're going to make sure that we understand and we're gonna continue practicing a little bit of this topic, the simple past and the past continuous, okay? Now, what is the most important that we understand is that we understand the two concepts. If in one sentence are the two forms, the form with ing is the form that begins first. ING always is the action that is first. The simple past is the action that interrupt or the second action, okay? One more time, so it's clear. The ING is the first activity. The simple past is the second activity. ING always starts but is not completed. That's why it's with ING and the other that always interrupt or interfere is the simple past. 
Are we ready to practice a little bit? Yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to be taking a look at, a, I, I know yesterday we had a few sentences from the 2.2. .2. Um, we're going to make sure that it's clear and that you understand, and then you're going to try your own, okay? As an example, this morning, okay, I was taking a shower, okay, and then normally we use the word when. I was taking a shower when the water stopped. Taking a shower is the first action. The water stopped is the second action. The first action I didn't complete. The second action interrupted me. That's the idea. Okay, so one more time. We are going to do two things. First, look at the exercises on 2.2. .2, knowledge check 2.2. .2. And then second, we are going to create our own sentences. We can use those as an examples to help us with the structure, but it's our own sentence. Is okay or do you need an example? If you can give us an example. Okay. Be... Let's do an example, Arturo. So first, Arturo and I is my Arturo is my partner. So Arturo and I are working. First, we are going to do knowledge check 2.2, .2, and we are going to make sure we understand when is correct the ing's or when is correct the ed. Okay. Mm. Okay. okay. This, this is that's, the first, that's clear. Okay, that's the first activity for 2.2. .2, we do the exercises to make sure we understand. After we check and is correct, then Arturo and I make sentences in the these structures. So I begin, okay? I look at the first sentence. Ah, my brother Snorbert. Okay, so I make something similar, okay? My, my, mother, uh, um, my mother was cooking when she cut, when she cut her, when she cut her finger, okay? Or my, my brother was watching TV when he, okay, when he uh, fell down. It's not important who is the person. The important is the structure. But first, we need to make sure that in 2.2, .2, we understand all 2.2, .2, we understand, and we do all of the sentences correctly. Then, after we complete it, then we create our own sentences. It's okay, everybody understands? For me, it's okay. 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 Fabiola, do you have a question? No, no, it's okay. All right, then let's make Thanks. our, thank you, welcome. Let's make our partners and let's practice 2.2 .2 and then we create our own sentences. Hi, Fabiola. Hi, Omi. Hi. How are you? Hello, guys. Hi. I'm, I am um, looking for the exercise 2.2. .2. Okay. I don't know if you want, uh, I can share the screen to, to make the, the sentences. That is a good idea. Okay. Um, tell me when you watch my screen. Okay.
Uh, I don't know if you can watch my, my screen. It's loading in this yes. moment. Ah, there. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, the first sentence says, my brother snowboard when he break his leg in several places. Mm, I think is my brother was, was snowboarding. Yeah. When he broke his leg. Yes. Yes. I agree. The second, several years ago, I the second uh, broke or broken. I think it's broke because it's in past. It's a simple past. It's broke. Mm -hmm. Ah yes, was, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the second, several years ago, I had to miss. I had problems with math. So I no the first it uh, was having yeah was, so yes. I was I was having uh, I think in the second we have to use the verb find was found yes. Yes. No. Several uh, years ago, I had problems with math, so I I think it's found because it's in yes, the only found. Found, um, but the first statement is what having I have a problem with my math. Uh -huh. I several years I was having. Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. What's having? Okay, broke. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, oops. Second. Several uh, years ago, I, I was having. No. Um, I have. I have problems with mash, so I found a tutor to help me. I think so. What's your opinion? Um, I have I just Was it's hard and hard and fun? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, this is the form. The couple had their first child when they were living in a tiny apartment, and then the number seven, the verb work, don't have pass. In the in the answer, only in the question, maybe maybe what, it's a, what 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 is the answer? The seven. The seven says Tracy and Eric was meeting when they the verb is work in in brackets, but in the answer uh, don't see the verb work. It. Uh, teacher, teacher is here. Yes, yes. teacher, just... Uh, I confuse the seventh. Number seven? Yes. yes. Okay, it says Tracy and Eric meet when they work at the same restaurant in Vancouver. I think Tracy and Eric, and Eric meet. Uh, simple pass. Okay. When they... Uh, were 
were work working. Uh, but um, but is no answer option. I think is the the answer is where were working, but the answer it say were cooking. Yes, you are correct. the The verb that is there is uh, is work, but in the options is not possible. Okay, yes. it is correct. The idea is instead of work is for cooking. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a tricky, uh, for, it's a tricky uh, question. Uh, because is uh, we're working at the same restaurant in Vancouver. Correct. Correct. So uh, Tracy and Eric met when they were cooking at the same restaurant in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now it's time to do the examples. The the own example or or the own question. Okay. Mm, my co-worker was working when or was walking when the raining is coming now. Uh, okay, I try to, to do a example. My co-worker was walking when the Raining coming, Noah, uh, not teacher, I try to. Don't worry, you try, it's okay. You try to do it and take oh. your time, take your time. Remember, yes. the first activity is ING. The first activity is ING. Example, it was raining, it, uh, I was working, It whatever. But the first activity is ING. Okay. The second activity is a simple pass. Okay, and we we say the couple had their first child when they were living and in the in this example is for uh, the information is a, a specific time correct mm -hmm. because they when they were living is they be they live before they have the child they were living in Vancouver they were living in El Salvador when they had a child okay Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's good. Hello, uh, teacher. We finish. <laughs> hey. We have to go back. Get, uh, no, oh, the, the teacher, teacher is here. here. Yeah, teacher, we finished the task. Great. And did you create your own sentences? Uh, we have to create all. Because remember, we messed that. Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> it's okay. So, but yeah. you are you are fifty oh, percent finished. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Half of the way. We are um, making this in this conversation a lot of sentences. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Remember that the idea is always that the ing is for the first. Thing that happens so mm -hmm. I was working it was raining um, they were cooking whatever but the first activity is ing uh, the, the second, first in the sentence not necessary in the sentence but the because if you look at number seven take yeah. a look look at number seven yes okay. met. Uh -huh. Tracy and Eric met, met. Mm -hmm. but they met after they worked in the same restaurant so it's not for the order of the sentence. It's for the order of the actions. The order of the sentence can change. In the beginning, simple past. In the end, past continuous. It's only for the, when the person here, they understand the order. Tra because when you speak and say, Tracy and Eric met when they were working, ah, I understand. First working and then met. Okay. It's not for first met and then work. It's for... The grammar structure indicate when I listen, ing is the first action, not necessarily the first in the sentence. Uh, okay, sorry, teacher, but I have a question in, yes. in, in not involves this task. No problem. Uh, I tried to complete the order exercise, and uh, we 
we uh, make the in two <laughs> how do you say dos clases pasadas in two past class in two classes in Bef two classes yeah, before, before. Mm -hmm. oh okay thanks and and i can't complete that task because i try to write but i i don't understand no problem which is the task that you try to I, do i find it is so yeah um, in, the pla in my platform. Um, no problem. I think it's... Uh, ah, the 1.9. Okay, 1.9. 1.9. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, I can share the screen if you... Yes, it's no problem. Okay, I'm going to share. I'm going to stop sharing. Don't worry. Yeah, I think it is... Okay, um, there you have. Yeah, yeah. Teacher is missing. Okay. Okay, teacher, uh, you can see. I, I, I complete with the pass of the verb, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Or are you doing everything wrong? Yes, you are doing everything wrong. Um, the reason that everything is wrong is here we need to use the verb to be and the past participle, not only the past, okay? Yeah. So, I, for, uh, so, uh -huh. so here, many crops, crops are plural, okay? Yeah. So we're going to use the, we have three choices. Yeah. We have am, is, and are for the present. What do you think is the correct for crops? Many crops. Because Where? crops, no, no, it's in the present. Oh. It's in the present. Oh. So, the present am, are, are. are, okay, are. So first put are. Second is always the verb is not in past, but is in past participle, in past participle. So you are correct. Grow, the past is grew. What is the past participle of grew? Or the past of grow, uh, the past participle of grow? It's the same as grow. No, it's with N. Growing. Correct. And now click check on the bottom and you will see that that sentence is going to be correct. Yeah, that's so, a, so, a big difference. <laughs> yes. So, I feel no, so dumb. No, 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 Henya. It's very good okay. question. It's very good. So, all of the sentences are incorrect because of two things. One, you need the verb to be. It's obligation for the passive. In okay. here, all of them are in present. So only you have three options. Am, is, or are. These are the only three options. Am, is, or are. Is or are. Mm -hmm. And then the second that you have to remember is the past participle of the verbs. As an example, the verb is regular. Ah, is easy because only put ed. Okay. okay. Ohenia, can you please try number two and see, that way I can check if you understood. Some crops are consumed. I think it's consumed what's... You put, don't no. worry. You, it's okay if you make a mistake. <laughs> it's, don't worry. It's okay. okay. No, this is correct. Exactly. It's, it's not a, uh -huh, it's only for a small mistake. But now you yeah. understand and you can correct all. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Thanks, I appreciate, appreciate the help. Of course, of course. That's why I'm here, to make sure, to help you. <laughs> yeah, I feel frustrated when I can't complete this task. <laughs> mm -hmm. I understand, I understand. The next time, Eugenio, the, the best option, if is is good is excellent that you ask me in the class but okay. sometimes you need to go you you want to ask in the moment or you want to check only if you have the possibility take a picture and put into the whatsapp and then oh, okay in, in it's in this moment it's easy because we see quickly okay thanks okay. i'm going to do that okay all right good thanks sure when you are, you are using a, a tie <laughs> yeah 
it is, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's really funny, but it's it's normal. But the the thing okay. that I yeah, they are okay because I, I think that if we don't start speaking like this, we won't have the opportunity to improve our English or our I don't know our language. So even I in Spanish, we 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 speak like India. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I think that too. When we yeah. don't speak and practice, it's impossible to learn. Yeah, and something that that is missing for us, I think that is the like a hobby to read books or something like this. Because <laughs> I, I, well, I had a, a hobby because I used to read some books uh, or norms or some laws because I, I, I want to make bigger my my language about my, my career. So when I found a new word, I I went to the dictionary and what is the meaning, what does it mean? Oh, this one, this one, this one. <laughs> So I try to make my my vocabulary bigger, and basically I think it's a it's a way to uh, to learn how to speak better with uh, the people in your work, or maybe foreign people. Yeah. when you see and you watch a series in English and and practice the vocabulary, I think it can help too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it really helps you because basically the, the, the tradition All right. I'm glad everybody is doing good. I think everybody is clear for everybody, but always there are questions. So in this moment, do you have any questions? Um, anything that is not clear for you? At least for me, everything is clear. Excellent, David. Thank you. Anybody else? Blanca, I think you you wanted to speak, but you're on mute. Okay, teacher. <laughs> it's clear for me. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions? Okay, great. And now we're going to continue with the second topic for tonight. Tonight's second topic is looking at being able to tell a story. When we tell stories, when we describe situations, we use many different words. We use actions like verbs, we use adjectives like for descriptions, but also we use words that are for adverbs. This is for the idea of 2.3, okay? 2.3, which is the next one, that we're going the next lesson that we're going to do is using adverbs okay useful adverbs now what's the difference between a verb and an adverb well it tells us there it's pretty easy because it tells us add add means more and then we verbs we already know the actions so adverbs are more verbs that means giving us more information about the verb normally not always, but normally the adverbs finish with the word L-Y, as we can see in here. Here we have the L-Ys like coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, and unfortunately. Are all of those adverbs, do you know what they mean? Have you heard them before? Yes, yeah, some of them. Okay, which ones don't you know? 
only meet up me completely. I don't know what mean. Okay. Miraculously, sorry, miraculously means like like a like a surprise, like a miracle, something you didn't expect. So we, many times we say, oh, it's like by the hand of God or the wish of God. But this is another way to say miraculously. Ah, uh, it's referred to a miracle. Correct. It's only that the pronunciation changes and it's not miraculously. Lee is miraculously, but is the same reference to miracle. Mm -hmm. Any other adverbs that you don't know? Coincidentally, coincidentally, it's like a coincidence or? That is correct, Lydia. It is coincidentally coincidentally is like a by accident this is what it means it's a coincidence it's by accident okay thank you you're welcome anybody else what's the meaning suddenly teacher suddenly is without mm -hmm. planning is no planning, no expectation. Is in the moment. Is suddenly, like an earthquake. An earthquake. You don't plan. You don't know. An earthquake is suddenly. Uh, okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other verbs? Or yes? strangely. 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 Mm-hmm. Strangely is something that is not normal. This is strange. So strangely is the adverb to describe the action that is not common or not normal. It's okay? It's okay. Okay, good. Anybody else, any other questions? Okay, so what are we looking at when we look at adverbs? All we're doing is really just learning how to describe things more, okay? So what is the focus? The idea is to talk about how you do something. The, the adverbs we always use is for how. This answers the question how. How is something done? With this is the adverbs. So, as an example, and I cook. How do you cook? This is the adverb. The adverb answers this question. Okay, how do you cook? Ah, deliciously, terribly, wonderfully, quickly, slowly. All of the adverbs and have the same function. And the function is to answer the questions of how something is done. Imagine Patricia. Patricia walks, okay? How does Patricia walk? Uh, today is not good, so Patricia walks slowly. Ah, but tomorrow Patricia is happy and she walks quickly, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Or because she is late. Mm -hmm. Or Patricia walks normally, okay? But all of these are with the adverbs, okay? Some adverbs do not have ly, but these are the irregular. The, the common adverbs all have ly. It's okay, the ideas? It's okay. Okay. Yes. yes, it's okay. All right. So what we're going to do to make it easier to understand is we're just going to be like the topic says, storytelling. Okay. So here... I'm going to show you one more time the picture in case you don't see. This is the picture from 2.4, okay? And you see a picture, you see, do you see the boy in the bicycle? Do you see the woman running? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Everybody yes, sees yes. this? Okay, 
So with your partner, you and your partner are going to create a story using five of those adverbs. You're going to use five of those adverbs minimum to create the story. And then in a few minutes, you and your partner are going to tell the story to the class. So we have two activities, okay? One, you and your partner are going to use these adverbs, use the picture to create your story. What do you imagine happen? What is the situation? What is for you happening or going on? Then you practice with your partner and in a few minutes, you are going to tell all of the class. Is good? Okay. If, if, no, if no questions, let's do it. Let's, yes, yes. Of course, of course, I can repeat. Okay. The idea is with your partners, you are going to create a story. You're going to create a story for that, for that picture, okay? What is happening in the picture? What is the situation? You are going to use the adverbs that are in the box. You can use others if you want, but you have to use five of the new adverbs minimum, okay? You can, you can use others, but five of the new adverbs minimum to create your story. And then in a few moments, you are going to tell the class. Everybody's Thanks, teacher. Ready? You're welcome, Eugenia. Everybody's ready? Yes. yes. Okay, let's do it. Let's create these stories. Okay, let's start working. Uh, we have a little time. You have five minutes exactly. Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. Uh, anyone? To... I, I have an idea. Okay, remember only five minutes to create your story. Five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Can you see my, my screen? You're welcome. <sighs> unfortunately, unfortunately. Remember, only five minutes. Only five only minutes five to minutes. create your story. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. A key okay. And, a, and a bicycle. Remember, only five minutes. Only five, five minutes to five complete. Minutes. Okay, yes, okay. five okay. minutes to complete the story. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, teacher. I keep the bicycle. Uh, suddenly, the boy and the, the bike, the bike, want to quickly. Quickly, yes. Mm -hmm. And What else? Uh, the Albert uh, sur surprising or unexpectedly, for example. Um, the people. Um, the people. The woman. The woman, okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, is surprise, no, surprise. Surprise it. The woman surprise it. Oh, así sería, ¿verdad? O 
pues estaban viendo mi pantalla. We use the image. Yes, I, I watch. I watch. I watch. Yeah. Hmm. Coincidentally. 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 Yes, correct. Correct to him. Coincidentally. The guy coincidentally can how do you say in the corner with the woman. Yeah. <laughs> two minutes, uh, two minutes. Uh, oh my it? god. Is L and the letter uh the letter Y? Why? Why? Uh, at the end of the word, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Two minutes. Remember, two minutes to finish your story. And we have to to say our story to all the the. Yes, Bessie, you have to say the story to the, all of the class. All the class. But, but oh just, just one question: the thing is that create that story using this picture or is my own? This, using this picture. Okay. <laughs> I okay. Found, I knew the it. <laughs> is going to David. You are the the <laughs> the, the one who is going to to share the story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. Okay. Side, sidewalk. Uh, sidewalk. Okay. The and the uh, woman room at the side, same, side. Uh, the same sidewalk. 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 Uh, and uh, and uh, Fortunately, nobody is. Uh, fortunately, nobody is. Sufrió daños is. Dangerous. Dangerous. Damage. Damage, pero. Con la salud, don't have, okay, suffer damage, suffer, suffer, okay, golpes, golpes, is, o oh, blow, suffer golpes, suffer blows, no. The boy and, with a bicycle suddenly look at dog, and, okay. and, and the woman, and, and Ruth, and, Run fast uh, and all right. Whew. Hmm. Feel a little pressure, huh? A little stress. It's okay. We are ready to present. Who is the first group to present their story using the adverbs? Maybe we, David and Arturo. Ooh, wow. <laughs> hey, very David nice. The one. <laughs> very nice, Bessie. Very nice. Okay. Nice move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, David, you can do it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, we, we were joking. It's because I don't have a good imagination. I just said, uh, it's like... There were a lot of people in a picture, and unfortunately, it was raining. <laughs> no, let me see. Um, <laughs> I can share my screen. That way you can see the picture, and it can help you. Mm -hmm. OK. Once upon a time, <laughs> there was a fat guy riding a bike. When coincidentally, a dog was biting a woman, and strangely, a man was walking really comfortable when uh, under a storm, and unfortunately, they crashed. That's the end. <laughs> I don't have imagination. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have imagination. <laughs> no, baby, that's, that's really good. 
<laughs> it was very interesting, David. Thank you. Thank you very much for participating. <laughs> I need a Nobel Prize. You need a Nobel I Prize. A <laughs> <laughs> I will create a, a film about it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Okay. Who is the next group? Who wants to try another? Hey, All right. Eugenia. Okay, Eugenia. Ah, okay. I'm cool. Um, a little dog was resting in the jar in the back in the yard and feel annoyed for the clapping of a woman and co coincidentally was um I forget it. So don't worry, don't worry. Uh, uh -huh. co coincidentally was uh, in the way for in that street for her work. And the the boy in with the green hat in his bicycle, Lucky was passing by and tried to catch the dog to miraculous miraculously miraculously tried to save the little the woman and but strangely a guy uh, with the green shirt uh, was passing by and surprisingly it started raining and he tried to um, he tried to escape for the rain and unexpectedly crashing with a woman in the next corner fortunately all of them were are are safe and luckily live happy <laughs> 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 sorry but i tried my best no that's the idea the idea is to have fun not to worry about it we're trying to do a, a good story a funny story all right good thank you thank you very much johania great who's next Caesar and okay. Blanca and Blanca. Excellent, Caesar and Blanca. Okay, I try to to have imagination, but it's it's complicated. But the boy ride a bicycle. Suddenly, look at dog, and and draw fast. And coincidentally, a woman run in the same sidewalk. Uh, fortunately, nothing suffer body harm. But unfortunately, a man who crossed the corner hit hit all the uh, or hit the bicycle. I try. No, that's good. It's it's very good. Excellent, excellent, Caesar. That's great. You guys did a okay. good job. Thanks. Perfect. Thanks. All right. Then I think it's only the last group. I think. I think only. Let me check who's missing. I, th I think we're missing one group or no? Fabiola, who was your partner? Omi and Patricia. Okay. Okay. Um, we are talking about the, the actions and Nos quedó así. Um, number one, the boy was racing quickly and the woman surprised. Number two, a dog was beaten strongly a woman on the street and a man was walking on the, on the other side and suddenly he crashed with a woman. Number three, Unfortunately, was raining, and everything was a disaster at the end of at the end of the day. And for the child was conscious that everything happened because of his bad behavior. Okay, very good. You guys have an idea. That's great. Okay, the idea is just to be able to tell stories. Don't worry. The 
the idea is expanding our vocabulary. The more we use the new vocabulary, the more we try to make funny stories or serious stories or just to be able to tell is more fluency, the better, the more comfortable we become. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's why we're in class. We're in class because it's not perfect. The important is that we practice it, okay? Okay. All right. Great job, guys. Thank you again for coming. I know it's difficult on Friday, but congratulations. Really, really, I, I appreciate your effort for Friday at 10 o'clock studying English. Hmm, you really want to learn. So have a great weekend. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.